Have you ever wondered how everything around us, the stars, the galaxies, even us, came into existence? Just imagine a moment in time, around 13.8 billion years ago, when all that we know and all that we are yet to discover was concentrated into an incredibly tiny, unimaginably hot and dense point. This was a moment so profound that it marked the inception of everything, a moment so powerful that it not only created matter, but also the fabric of time and space itself. This is the concept of the Big Bang, the birth of our universe. A theory that astrophysicists and cosmologists around the world agree upon is the most plausible explanation for the origin of everything. But wait, let's not rush into it. Let's take a step back and delve a little deeper into this fascinating moment of creation. In the beginning, there was nothing. No stars, no galaxies, no space, no time. Then, in an instant, everything changed. The universe burst into existence from this tiny, dense point, expanding at an inconceivably rapid pace. This expansion was not an explosion into space, but rather an explosion of space. Space itself was being created and stretched, carrying matter along with it. The universe at this time was an extremely hot, dense sea of particles and energy. It was so hot in fact, that particles of matter and antimatter spontaneously formed and annihilated each other. This all happened within the first fractions of a second after the Big Bang. As the universe expanded it gradually cooled down, allowing particles of matter to eventually come together to form atoms, molecules, stars and galaxies. But we're getting ahead of ourselves, that story is for another time. So in a fraction of a second, our universe was born, a moment we now refer to as the Big Bang. Imagine a universe not bright and filled with stars but dark and mysterious. This is the Cosmic Dark Ages, a period that commenced roughly 380,000 years following the Big Bang. As the universe expanded, it also cooled. This cooling was a transformative process, leading to a predominance of neutral hydrogen atoms. During these eons the universe was a different place. It was not yet the starlit panorama we see today. Instead, it was a vast opaque expanse shrouded in cosmic fog. This fog was composed of these neutral hydrogen atoms which absorbed light, making the universe a dark place. Yet this was not a static period. The universe was changing, evolving, setting the stage for the next act in its cosmic drama. It was a time of anticipation, a prelude to a spectacle of light and formation of celestial bodies. This was a time of darkness, a time before the first stars illuminated the cosmos. Now picture the first glimmers of light piercing through the darkness. Around 150 million years after the Big Bang, the universe underwent a massive transformation. In the cosmic equivalent of the blink of an eye, the darkness that had reigned supreme was challenged by the emergence of the first stars and galaxies. How did this happen, you might wonder? Well, it all comes down to gravity and the fundamental building blocks of the universe gas and dust. You see, in the vast expanses of the cosmos, gas and dust began to clump together. These clumps grew in size, their gravitational pull becoming stronger and stronger, drawing in more and more material. This process, known as gravitational collapse, is a bit like a cosmic snowball effect. The more material that gets pulled in, the stronger the gravitational force becomes and the more material it can pull in. Over time, these growing clumps of gas and dust became dense and hot at their cores. This is where the magic happens. As the pressure and temperature at the core of these clumps increased, nuclear fusion began to occur. This is the process that powers our sun and all the other stars. It's where hydrogen atoms come together to form helium, releasing a tremendous amount of energy in the process. This energy, in the form of light, began to shine out into the universe, piercing the darkness and illuminating the cosmos. As more and more stars formed, they began to group together, drawn in by their mutual gravitational pull. These groups of stars eventually formed what we now know as galaxies. And thus, the universe was no longer a dark place. It was now filled with stars and galaxies. These celestial bodies born from gas and dust, brought light to a universe that had previously known only darkness. This was the dawn of the era of first light, a time when the universe began to resemble the familiar night sky we see today. Among the countless galaxies, one was destined to become our home. In the grand cosmic spectacle, the formation of our galaxy, the Milky Way, was a pivotal event. Its birth was a dramatic process, initiated by a massive gravitational collapse of a giant molecular cloud around 13 billion years ago. 
As this cloud collapsed under its own weight it fragmented and spun into a rotating disk of gas and dust, what we now know as a spiral galaxy, our Milky Way. But within this spinning vortex, smaller pockets of gas and dust began to collapse as well, giving birth to stars. These pockets, known as nebulae, house the nurseries of star formation. The intense pressure and heat within these nebulae ignite nuclear fusion, transforming hydrogen into helium and voila, a star is born. In one such nebula, around 4.6 billion years ago, our very own star the Sun came into being. But the story doesn't end there. Alongside the formation of the Sun, the remaining gas and dust began to coalesce into a flat spinning disk. Within this disk, particles started to stick together, forming larger and larger clumps until they became planetesimals, the building blocks of planets. Over time these planetesimals collided and merged, forming protoplanets. And as these protoplanets cleared their orbit of debris, they became the planets we know today. Our Earth was one such planet, forming from the debris in the Sun's orbit. This intricate cosmic ballet of formation and destruction, of gas and dust turning into stars and planets, has repeated countless times across our galaxy. It's a process that's likely happening right now, in distant corners of the Milky Way, giving birth to new stars and new worlds. So around 4.6 billion years ago, our own solar system was born. But remember we're not just in the universe, the universe is in us. Every atom in our bodies was once part of a star, making us all in a way children of the cosmos. Fast forward to now, and here we are, inhabitants of a tiny planet in this vast universe. We are living in an era where the universe is approximately 13.8 billion years old, and it's much different than it was in its infancy. Our universe is in a constant state of expansion. This expansion is not occurring at a steady rate but is accelerating due to the mysterious force we call dark energy. Galaxies are moving away from each other creating more and more space in between. This phenomenon is often compared to raisin bread dough rising in the oven. As the dough expands, the raisins move further apart from each other. But what does the future hold for our universe? There are several theories that scientists have proposed each as intriguing as the next. One of these is the Big Freeze Theory. This theory suggests that as the universe continues to expand, it will eventually become too spread out to sustain processes that create heat. In the end, everything would gradually cool down, leading to a dark, desolate universe. Then we have the Big Rip Theory. This theory predicts that the acceleration of the universe's expansion will become so extreme that it will rip apart everything from galaxies and stars to atoms and subatomic particles. Finally, there's the Big Crunch Theory. This theory proposes that the universe's expansion could one day reverse, causing everything to collapse back into a single point, an echo of the Big Bang. These are all fascinating possibilities but the truth is, we don't know for sure what the future holds for our universe. It's a mystery that continues to intrigue and challenge scientists around the world. As we gaze into the night sky we are not only looking at stars but also traveling back in time, witnessing the history of our universe. So, what does this timeline of the universe tell us? It's a testament to the incredible, awe-inspiring journey of existence itself. From the explosive beginnings of the Big Bang, through the dark, silent epochs, and on to the first burst of light in the universe. We've seen the formation of galaxies, stars, and our very own solar system. The universe in its vastness has been continuously evolving, manifesting countless phenomena. It's a testament to the power of time and space, the dance of matter and energy, and in this grand cosmic ballet, we find ourselves on a tiny blue planet, circling an average star in a corner of a common galaxy. Our existence, though seemingly insignificant in the grand scheme, is a part of this cosmic journey. We are a product of star stuff, a part of the universe experiencing itself. We are but a brief flicker in the grand timeline of the universe, a testament to its awe-inspiring scale and mystery.